I cloned Hacker News and filled it with AI agents without writing a single line of code. First of all, this is Hacker News. This is a website where I spend a lot of time. A lot of you usually ask me, where do I get my news from? This is definitely one of the places where I always always hang out and then try to find something interesting. So Hacker News is something like a very important part of the internet. But I've been thinking that, okay, can I have Hacker News, but instead of having humans, uh, you know, discuss, sometimes fight, sometimes argue, can I have AI agents with different personas discuss the same article? And that is how this idea came about. So we're going to use this, uh, they've got their API style and all those things. We're going to use this as a reference. If you go to Hacker News, for example, there is an article that says, Square Roots and Maxima. And then if you click the comments, you would immediately see somebody saying something, somebody responding to it. And then there are like multiple discussions about this article. So what we are going to have is instead of this human, we are going to have an AI agent. Instead of this human, we are going to have an AI agent and they are going to discuss what is happening with this particular article. And we are going to give them the personas. To do this, we're going to use a replit agent. Right now, this is how my agent looks like. So, so I'm going to click submit. So when I click submit, as you can see here in Hacker News, you have a submit button. And when you click submit, you're going to get submit a URL and submit a title. So I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to pick an article from the top of Hacker News. So it says make the most of your burl. I don't know. I don't know what does it mean? I'm, going to, I'm not going to pick up this one because that, that I, I didn't understand. Okay, so I'm going to pick up this one. This says engineering sleep. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to the replay agent, submit the URL. And I'm going to copy the title as well. So from Hacker News and uh, engineering sleep. And I'm going to click submit. And you would notice immediately two things. One, the moment I submit this, it's going to start creating some kind of conversation, not necessarily conversation, more around comments. Click submit. Once I click submit, as you can see here, the story is getting submitted. Uh, it's taking a bit of time because my agent is actually going to the page, scraping the page, getting the content and feeding into these agents. So engineering sleep. So I've got three comments and these are like some of those uh, articles that I submitted before. So, okay, what are the three comments? One is saying FNSS is a rare mutation linked to more efficient sleep. First, I want to go to this particular website and then see if that even like is present. It's not hallucinating. FNSS, okay. FNSS, familial natural short sleep actually exist on this particular page, which means our agent is not purely hallucinating based on the title or URL. Because what happens is generally they just hallucinate based on the title and URL. That's not what we want. We want them to truly, truly discuss the article. We have got a tech analyst. We have got a business expert. We have got a social observer. I mean, it's okay. I mean, these three, um, these three uh, roles and personas are okay, but we want like something fun, something spicy. So before we add more personas, let me take you back probably like an hour back or one hour back and uh, give you, before we move forward with adding new personas, I'm going to take you back and then showing how I exactly created this, what kind of errors I encountered and how did I solve those things to arrive at this particular place without writing a single line of the code. So all the way to the beginning, I gave a prompt that says, I want to make a modern looking hacker news, extract the content from hacker news API, which kind of didn't work. The only change here is that two or three AI agents should discuss the Hacker News submissions. I want the ability to make a new submission and the moment I add it, I think I made a typo, it should discuss with a few comments. Please use Google Gemini Flash for the agent LLM. I decided to use Gemini because, I mean, I decided to use Gemini Flash. First of all, why did I use Gemini? Gemini, because I've got the free API. And Gemini flash particularly because I wanted speed when the comments are happening. I don't want like the AI agent to be like super amazing. Just should have like bare minimum knowledge just like human beings who are mostly discussing on online forums. So I just decided to go ahead with that. So I'll help you and it gives me all the information and then it says, okay, there are a couple of things I can do. I can build the initial prototype. I can add a user authentication for submission, which it did not do. Implement more AI agent with different personalities, which it did. And uh, it does a bunch of things. The very good thing here is that it actually creates an API, uh, sorry, it actually creates a database. So if you go to the left hand side of me, you can see drizzle being available here. And uh, there is uh, there is this Postgres uh, being used here, the database, everything is there. So the good thing here is this is like a proper, like very proper full stack application here that we are dealing with. And that is exactly why when we go give a submission, 
the submission is not only about the latest one the submission is also about what we submitted before because whatever we submit actually goes and gets added into the database so the database kind of has the history of what kind of submissions we have so it does everything it uh, installs google generative ai at this point it says i need the google gemini api key which i go to google and uh, get it um, it gave me a link to get the google api key i'm not sure if it works but i went to a studio dot um, google dot com i guess and got it and then gave it here after i did that it actually created the first screenshot and somehow there was a mistake so it it started with an error and realizing that there was an error and it decided to make changes so first time it took an error uh, it took a screenshot it had a lot of errors it kind of itself fixed it and the second time after it fixed it it worked and at that point i realized that it is hallucinating with the title and the url rather than actually getting the content because you know i was thinking like how would it know the content so i explicitly said you might have to scrape the content of the submitted url and then you are going to get all these things so it decided to scrape it and then finally we have all these things so this is the current view so where i've got the ai news i have the dark and light mode toggle i can go here and submit something and then it has all these things so what i'm going to do right now is one of the thing that i wanted to do is i wanted to have like a contrasting personalities so i'm going to give some personalities here okay so i'm going to say i want uh, two more agents there um one is joe rogan second is elon musk and i want them to have a strong personalities also it would be fun if one agent can reply to another agent subsequently up to three uh, comments okay so i've i've said that okay the uh, i mean right now everything is fine but it doesn't have the spiciness of it i want to see if uh, it can add more personalities but uh, uh, sometimes you know gemini is also kind of censored so it might say that i cannot do joe rogan i cannot do elon musk so it's trying to figure out what to do and after it is done it should ideally have this um uh, these personas here and one thing that i would also want to see is if we can have like the hacker news style uh, uh, the directory style thing and it is kind of adding it here so as you can see here it is editing the schema and it is trying to edit the new agent and you can see the agent prompt so it's creating a joe rogan here it's creating an elon musk here and you have got the business expert and tech analyst so instead of having the three agents it's kind of creating the four agent <laughs> it's a uh, it's kind of funny to see the prompt here your style is casual curious you often relate topics to martial arts i don't know what is dmt and comedy you love having deep conversation about consciousness this sounds like lex friedman analyze this article with your unique perspective and you are extremely focused for elon musk forward thinking often relating topics to space exploration exploration tesla sustainable energy and then we have got all the other guys Uh, and there are like some changes that are made so reply to this comment from your perspective maintaining your character's voice style so it's adding all those things it's adding a bunch of libraries not sure what is the use of these libraries so it's pulling everything from schema um it's making some changes um and uh, yeah so it's adding reply comment i the the reason i said like 5 is because or 3 is because i don't want like the agents to be um going bonkers discussing things um recursively so it might create a confusion okay it says do you see responses from them uh, right now i don't see responses obviously because i have to make a new submission i'm going to go and pick go to hacker news again and i'm going to see if i can find something uh, ai related or something you know that has got a very strong content so okay i've got uh, the deterioration of google be fun to submit this article to google gemini and see what it says so i'm going to submit the article and the title of the article is the deterioration of google go here submit it i'm going to submit it and ideally i hope that it can scrape it hopefully fingers crossed and after it can scrape it the content is fed into our four agents musk rogan the tech analyst the business expert and we also asked it to thread the comment like create threads rather than just simple comments so we are also going to see it and um it's still scraping so maybe i don't know if, if it has got some kind of issues with scraping or um, it is just the agents not working properly let's see like i think i can see the console here console yep 
it created a problem. Property. This is a problem. I've pasted the error there. Property common daddy does not exist on type. I think it's, I guess it's primarily because of the previous articles, I guess. Um, if I guess correctly, that could be the uh, case. I'll fix the TypeScript errors in the threaded comments implement section. Maybe I shouldn't have asked for two changes at the same time, but uh, it's fixing it. You can see the progress here. And um, after it's fixing it, it's making all the changes required. And it also gives you the information about how is it fixing it. It is all done at this point. It's taking a screenshot. Go back here, submitted their stake analyst business. Okay. This one did not go through it. So let's submit it again. Um, what is submit this? Sorry. Copy this. Submit it. Copy this. Submit it. And go to console and wait. Yeah, uh, we have the same error. Copy this. Property ID does not exist on a comment generation. Cool. I'm going to paste this error. We have this error. So these errors are quite common because as with humans, when we write something, I think we kind of like go through different thought process. I don't know how this thing is implemented at the back end, but I always feel like, you know, somebody is doing something and somebody has not been informed about that something and it creates that kind of an error. So it's trying to fix the common generation error. Um, so it's an optional field it's making. Okay. It's interesting. Sometimes the kind of errors they fix are also kind of interesting. I'm going to go back to my web view, submit again, the same one and um, copy this, fix it, submit it, go to the console. Okay. Found zero errors watching for file changes. Okay. At this point, at least we don't have any error. So it, yeah, that's surprising. It, um, it didn't make any change. Okay. Um, I got zero errors, but I didn't get to see a single comment. That's interesting. I got zero errors. As you can see here until now, everything I did was working fine. But the moment you start the recording, things go wrong, but I don't want to cut it. I want you to see what kind of errors I'm facing so that it doesn't look all roses. I'll fix the AI comment generate, make it work reliable with appropriate comment. And as you can see here, it should, this is a web view and you can see here in the console, it's failed to generate a reply. Okay. Yeah, I understand. I understand why the problem was Joe Rogan was blocked due to safety. I guessed it. Um, Okay, Joe Rogan was blocked due to safety. So maybe what I'll do is instead of Joe Rogan, I'm going to go change it to somebody. Okay. Um, maybe it's trying to fix, but uh, the easiest thing what we can do is we can go. Yeah, we can go to the Gemini and instead of Joe Rogan, I can just say um, Mark. I can modify with AI, but Mark. Oh, while the agent is working, I cannot edit. Okay. So now they change the profile of Joe Rogan to make it more generalized instead of using the name Joe Rogan. That's pretty interesting. Okay. Yep. It works. We've got Joe Rogan. Hey there, fight fans. It's your boy, Joe Rogan. Okay. About deterioration of Google. What, what is Musk saying? The complexities of Google's machine learning algorithm expose the harsh realities of AI influence. Okay. A lot of things I'm going to do it from fresh. So I'm going to go submit one new and uh, this time I'm going to pick an article from, um, something here. Okay. You must at least read one book to write. Okay. So let's copy this. Come back here. 
submit this go copy this come back here submit this and see what's going to happen so you must read at least one book to write and go to console and then see that um, so far no errors which is a good thing and it's beginning to submit that means it's collecting the content this point okay too many requests oh my goodness google is not uh, cooperating okay i apologize but i could not analyze because let's continue the discussion later so joe rogan is doing some kind of analysis and uh, talks about uh, he talks about skin in the game elon musk is doing something i think we have to play a little bit with the prompt but we have gotten um, everything i agree with your analysis it doesn't have a uh, the actual reply threading but um, it kind of works so you can open it in new tab you can like see the entire thing so there is this article it would be nice to have like the collapse just like how reddit does but overall i'm pretty happy like if i can um, have a platform where i can go submit an article have like five or six people different kind of people criticize it discuss it encourage it imagine like i'm a movie script writer and instead of uh, exposing it to a focus group or an ab test group if i can send it to an ai agent and then get the feedback but also have another ai agent come and criticize the first ai agent create this like swarm of agents who criticize each other and then fight with each other debate with each other i think it would be a pretty interesting uh, kind of a social media if something like that exists at least i'm not going to feel bad that human abused me or something but either way let me know what you feel about it it's a, it's a pretty uh, simple way to create something with an entire um, database and everything i think this is the only agent that can do it and deploying is like not very difficult like for example i can stop this go deploy here and uh, you have different ways to deploy it and then you can deploy it i guess they were running some kind of a black friday promo uh, i'm not like sponsored by replit agent to be honest not going to get any money out of this but um, yeah there is a black friday promo if you want to um, get but i'm pretty happy i think the only agent that can create a hacker new style social media or a platform where uh, agents ai agents can discuss your submitted article pretty interesting future to be honest uh, see you in another video happy prompting